In this playlist, we are going to create a simple inventory management system using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, MySQL, and PHP. We are going to learn how to code or create our homepage of the system. We can integrate a video here, style buttons, and footer section. We'll also learn how to create a login form in our system and a functionality that connects to our MySQL database. We also learn how to create this graph. So we have the purchase order by status. We have the count assigned to the supplier and the delivery history per day. Also, we will learn how to export our MySQL data to a PDF file. So here we have suppliers, we have the purchased order, and here we have the delivery report. We'll also learn how to export our data to Microsoft file or Microsoft Excel file. We have the product management module where we can show the list of the products. We can also edit the product name. Also, we can update or insert an image of the product. Here we have the add product feature. You can select the supplier. Here, if we go to our list of products, you can see. We have that product. We can also have the delete option. Next, we have the supplier management. Here, we can add a supplier, set the location in the contact email of the supplier. Let's add, and if we view that supplier, can also edit the supplier's data. Then here we have also the delete option. Next we have the order purchase order feature. Here we can trigger an order of the product. We'll select the product and it will show us the supplier. We can set the quantity and in our view orders we can see that data. Then here we can update. So if product is delivered, we can set the quantity, update, set the status. And then here we can also show the delivery history. So just clicking the button will show the delivery history. 
Next, we have the user management. Uh, we have an ability to add user to our system. So here we have the add a user feature. So let's add the e test user. Then let's add the password to password. Let's add the user. As you can see, we have the user added. Now we go up also the edit and then the delete feature. So if we update, as you can see, user has been updated, and we have also the logout feature. So let's get started.